How many people are being uh, are going to lose their jobs and exactly where are these roles at? So we're reporting today that it's just over 100. So this is drastically different than what we've reported in previous months in January of this year. That was in the thousands. So this seems to be cuts that are going to be felt and, and we're going to hear more about and get updates as the weeks uh, go on. But it's not as if we're seeing thousands across the global workforce at this point. I mean, we're, we're also expecting these to continue to trickle through as they kind of right size and sort of absorb credit suites. How much, how much more do you think there is to go in, in that baseball game? I think that each quarter as when they start to report and, and uh, give updates on some of their expenses and the guidance, if you put those together, you can probably piece how much more their headcount needs to come down. Because if you remember, when the integration of Credit Suisse, the, the firm jumped from 45,000 to 120,000. So that's a significant uptick, and they're having to deal with that. But you can't deal with it in just the first few quarters. That's going to take some time. It could take uh, over a few years uh, to go through the full, the full extent to, to what the CEO has said um, to investors in the past.